we're so excited because the NFL season finally happens tomorrow. And you know, you yeah. work in this and it's all day and we're just, it's all conjecture. And I know that you love future bets and that's fun, but I'm just ready for some action. And we get Lions and Chiefs tomorrow night. The Lions started at six and a half point underdogs. Uh, and we're gonna look at the FanDuel Sportsbook odds here. The, you know, Chris Jones hold out, that's ongoing. Travis Kelsey, he's got the bone bruise. So it's moved to minus five and a half. Does this one point swing change the way you're betting this game? No, because I really like the Lions in a tease, especially if Chris Jones doesn't play. I, I wanted to tease them or get them in an alternate line or something like that over 10. So this didn't really affect that yet. To me, the Chris Jones thing is as big of a thing as the Kelsey thing. The Kelsey thing was funny because it completely upended every fantasy. Like I had a fantasy draft last night. Nobody knew what to do. And then somebody went nuts and spent $35 on him anyway. But it, it, the way it has affected the gambling lines, the future props, like the chiefs, I think there were, uh, maybe 11 and a half or 12 and a half for their over under. And now nobody knows if Kelsey's coming back. Nobody knows if Chris Jones is mm -hmm. playing. So the, there's some uncertainty with the chiefs and the, this is a really nice spot for the lions. I wasn't a huge fan of the lions this year, but, um, it just seems like you can't ask for a better spot than this. Kelsey's probably not playing. Chris Jones isn't practicing. If you're ever going to go in and try to beat Mahomes with all these these new receivers, and he doesn't really have a number one receiver. So uh, I, my fear is that we're being suckered into a Lions bet. Got it. And then you're going to watch the game Thursday night. And all of a sudden, it's going to be like 14-3 Chiefs, and we're all going to be like, oh, my <laughs> God, what, what did we do? Why didn't we get suckered in on this stupid Lions team? You didn't You didn't bid 36 bucks for Jared Goff to be your fantasy quarterback, though? No, but I got him for four. You my did? Backup. Yeah. My big one, I really wanted Jalen Hurts. I'm in a couple leagues, but I really wanted Jalen Hurts because I think the Eagles are going to have the best offense in the league. You can bet that on FanDuel at 9-1. Um, I have him for MVP at 12-1. to Okay. And... I, uh, I just think they have the best offensive line. Their receivers are the best receivers in the NFC. Uh, Dallas Goddard. I, I'm just in on that team. And I, and I actually think their offense is a little underrated. So, unfortunately, they're playing my favorite team on Sunday. So, I have to root against them in week one.